Hello everyone! Thank you guys for tuning in to our channel today. Today's video request is how to use Canva to create infographics. So let's get started. Okay, here on our homepage, we're going to go to the search bar and we're going to type in infographic. In order to be taken to the templates page, we're going to click on see all. By the way, in case you want to create an infographic with specific dimensions, then you can go to custom size over here. And then you can input your desired dimensions over here, as well as your desired unit. Once you input information here, this button will become clickable. So click on it. Let me show you what I mean. So this button will become purple and it'll be clickable. So click on it and it'll take you to the main editing page. As for me, I'd like to look for some templates first. So I'm going to go this way, infographic on the search bar and then see all from the drop down. This will take me to the templates page. And this is the templates page. So I'm going to select a template here that I'd like to use for my infographic. You can choose any template you want to use. How about this one? Let's click on it and let's click on customize this template. We'll be taken to the editing page. So let's wait for it to load up. It'll take just a couple of seconds. And here we are. And in case you'd like to change your template, don't worry, the uh, side panel over here will automatically display with some more templates that you can choose from. If you're looking for something specific, then go ahead and use the search bar over here, input relevant keywords, and yeah, it'll help you get to the templates you're looking for in a much faster way. Okay. We're going to get started. When it comes to designing, unleash your own creativity. Design your infographic however you want to, and you can start designing or changing any element from your template that you want to edit first. But this is my process, and if you want to see my process, then feel free to do so. I'm going to change the background color first. Um, to do that, I'm going to click on an empty area on my page and I'm going to go to this color button over here. And I can choose from solid colors or gradients if I want to. But in my case, I'd like to use mm, solid colors. I think they're easier on the eyes. But I do have something in mind. Um, okay. I'd like to keep it white, but I'd like to have some elements as my background. So I'm going to go to elements here and I'm going to look for um, paper, for example. But feel free to choose or feel free to look for any elements you'd like to incorporate into your design. I'm going to go to graphics and I'd like to select an element that looks like a ripped paper and I'd like to change its color to something like this. Let's see if we can do that. Okay, I think I found one. So I'm going to click on this element and I'm going to change its color to something like this. And I'm going to duplicate it by pressing this button. And I'm going to move this one over here and rotate it. And put it here. And now I'm going to send this element to the very back. So I'm going to click on position and then to back. And I'm going to zoom in and position it properly. And there. Now I'm going to make my title a bit bigger. And position it properly.
The font looks nice, but I'd like to make it more interesting. So instead, I am going to duplicate this and just put the word hobbies over here. I'm going to adjust it and I'm going to change it to a cursive or a calligraphy font. So I'm going to type here calligraphy. And I'm going to choose from some of these fonts over here. I think this looks nice. So I'm going to delete this. Perhaps I'm going to duplicate this again and delete this part. Then for the other one, I'm going to delete this part so that it's easier to place them. Duplicate this and change it to you. And perhaps I'll change low cost to this fund as well. Okay, that looks nice, but I'd like to change the color, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to click on my text and click this color button here and change it to the color of my choice. Now I'm just going to adjust the other elements so that everything will fit properly. So I'm just going to delete this grid. And I'm going to change these to circle frames. I'm going to go to elements and type in circle. And now we're going to insert some photos over here. You can use your own photos if you want to, so go to the upload section and choose from your photos. But if you have not uploaded your photos yet, then click on upload files, select the photos you want to upload, and then click on open. And it'll be uploaded right over here. As for me, I don't have any photos to use, so in order to show you an example, I'm just going to pick some photos from Canva's Elements. By the way, in order to adjust my photo inside the frame, I'm going to double click on it and then adjust it to place. And then click on done. And then we're going to do the others now. I'm just going to change the color of these texts. And there you go. By the way, I did not change the um, content because I don't have anything in mind. So yeah. We're just going to pretend that this is also the content of our infographic. But yeah, please feel free to input your texts or content into your infographic. Um, I'm just doing it like this to show you an example. And there you go. You can keep adding designs if you want to. You can look for some designs on the elements section.
And there you go. Once you're happy with your design, it's time for you to share it or download it. So go to share. If you want to share it to social media directly, then click on share on social and then choose from the options you have here. If you want to download it, just go to the share button, same process, and instead go to download and then select your preferred file type over here and make sure to check other download settings as well and adjust it according to your preferences. And once you're done, click on download. And there you have it. That's how you create an infographic in Canva. We hope you found today's video of help somehow. Thanks so much for watching and we hope to see you in the next video. Have a great day.